Hi, I'm your big brother Abraham in recovery, coming to you again. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, please click the like button and by all means subscribe if you haven't. And we always encourage you to help us to carry the message because there are so many people out there suffering from a 100% treatable illness. And that illness is alcoholism and or addiction. Now, with that being said, you know, 2021 has brought on a lot of interesting challenges. Uh, we thank God for getting through 2020. Now we're here. Now what? So guess what? I decided to start upping the information because so many people around the world are letting me know that they're getting value from these videos. Till I said, you know what? Instead of doing one a week, I'm going to start doing two. So... As we say, without further ado, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start doing something called Don't Believe the Hype. And this is going to be episode one. And you know what the hype is, and I'm not trying to be uh, derogatory because we want to remove this negative stigma attached to recovery. So this is an upgrading, not a degrading program. So don't get mad at me when I say don't believe the hype. What I'm merely saying is don't believe the half truths that you hear. And a half truth is a whole lie, right? So many of you will listen to this and mimic it. And people will think just because you said it, that is true. But guess what? We rely on upon the program that is outlined in the book. And if we can't find it in the book, we attempt to stay away from rendering or giving our opinions because opinions are like garbage cans. Everybody has one. So here is our first half truth. And guess what it is? Man, I'm grateful I'm sober today. That is a big deal. I'm grateful for it too. But there's a difference between clean and sober. And guess what? You can get clean and never get sober. But watch this. You can't get sober without first getting clean. So what does the two words mean? Well, first of all, clean and sober, when we talk about it, they and is a conjunction. It ties two statements together. I was just looking for something in my book, right? It ties two statements together. So therefore, clean cannot mean the same thing as sober. So let's look at what clean means because many people believe, well, thank God I'm sober. And I get that. If that's where you want to remain, I get that. But notice, if that was the goal and or the message, it would have been put in the front of our book. You remember the story of how many thousands and men, thousands of men and women have recovered from alcoholism? Notice what it doesn't say. The thousands of men and women who have gotten clean and sober. So, the first half truth is that. Roman numeral page 30, XXX. Let's look at what clean is. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth paragraph. Read the last three or read the last line of that paragraph. The only relief we have to suggest is entire abstinence. So guess what clean is? Entire abstinence. But watch this. I'm not just promoting clean. That's a grateful thing. But notice what the half truth is. A lot of people think the goal is sobriety. Let's rule that out. Go to page 82. Page 82. The one, two, three, the third paragraph, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth line in the last paragraph on page 82. Watch this. We feel a man is unthinking or unwise when he says that sobriety is enough. So we just dispelled our first 
half truth. So don't listen to the hype. You got to do more than get clean and sober, right? Entire abstinence, that, that's the initial goal. Ultimately, we want to get past sobriety because you're sober. Now what, right? You've got soundness of mind. What are you going to do with it? And guess what it really is? We're supposed to do with the soundness of mind. I believe it is found on page 77, third line from the top. Our real purpose is to fit ourselves to be of maximum service to God and the people about us. So that's why I'm getting sober so I can do that. But sobriety is not the end of the line, right? Notice when Bill got sober, when he recovered, God discovered, allowed him to discover what his purpose was. Notice on page 14, Bill says on the second paragraph from the bottom, He's sober. Watch this. While I lay in the hospital, the thought came that there were thousands of hopeless alcoholics who might be glad to have what have been so freely given to me. Would have been so freely given to him. Read the story. He went from being hopeless to finding hope. Perhaps I could help some of them. They, in turn, might work with others. So, we have just done... Our first, don't believe the hype, uh, half truth in the big book. And the half truth is, I'm just glad to just be sober. We know that it's something that lies beyond that, a fourth dimension that we can be catapulted into. So, this is your big brother Abraham. Again, subscribe, press the like button, send it to some of your friends. And I look forward to seeing you really, really soon. Hang in there. Stay quarantined. Talk to you. Bye.